Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Linderman. In today's video, I'll show how to prevent add-ins from loading at startup. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Have you ever had this happen to you? I have a SOLIDWORKS add-in on a floating network license, and I have my add-in settings for it unchecked at startup. When I want to run the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in, I select the add-ins tab from the command manager and select inspection. This will load the inspection add-in and check out the network license for it. This is all good so far. But what happens if I forget to deselect the inspection add-in when I close SOLIDWORKS? Closing SOLIDWORKS at this point will in fact release the inspection license, but when SOLIDWORKS is restarted, notice that the inspection add-in automatically loads, which will tie up the license. If there are multiple users that are using this license, this could cause an issue. So what happened? Even though the checkbox for the add-in was initially unchecked, when the inspection add-in is loaded from the command manager, it gets checked by default. If the add-in is not deselected before SOLIDWORKS is closed, this load at startup selection is saved to the registry. Here is how we can prevent the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in from loading at startup no matter what the add-in setting is in SOLIDWORKS options. This will require editing the registry key for the add-in. Always remember when making any edits to the registry to back it up first. Open the registry editor and navigate to the HKEY current user software SOLIDWORKS add-ins startup. This is the list of all of the SOLIDWORKS add-in startup registry keys. When a key is selected, the data for the key shows to the right. A value of 0 means that the add-in will not load. A value of 1 means that the add-in will load. When we double-click on the name, the value can be changed. Changing this value will create the intended behavior the next time SOLIDWORKS is started. Doing this will only change the behavior one time, meaning that if the add-in is turned on or off inside of SOLIDWORKS again, and SOLIDWORKS is closed, this key will once again be changed. To change this key to a zero and prevent SOLIDWORKS from changing it back to one, the permissions for the key must be changed to read only. But first, the proper key needs to be located. This can be done by process of elimination pretty quickly. Simply open SOLIDWORKS and go to Manage Add-ins. Now deselect all of the startup checkboxes except for inspection. Close SOLIDWORKS and switch back to the registry editor. Click through all of the keys until the key with a value of 1 is found. This should be the key for inspection. Before editing the permissions, test out the setting for this key to be certain that this is the correct one. Double click on the default name and set the value to 0 and then click OK. Now, restart SOLIDWORKS. The inspection add-in should not load. You can go to Manage Add-ins and look to see that it is no longer selected to load. To make it easier, here are the registry keys for the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in for the 2020, 2021, and 2022 versions. Before you set the permissions, be sure that the value is set to zero. To change the permissions to read only, right-click on the key and choose Permissions. 
select the username from the selection window. Select the Deny Full Control checkbox. This will select both the Full Control and Read options. Now select Advanced. Notice there are now two permission entries for this user. Select the Deny entry and choose Edit. Switch the type to Allow and apply to this key only. Deselect the full control box and click OK. Now select Disable Inheritance and choose to remove all inherited permissions on this object. Click on Apply and then click OK and click on OK to close the permissions for this key. Now you can start SOLIDWORKS again, and the inspection add-in will not load. To test out the permissions, set the inspection add-in to load at startup, and close SOLIDWORKS. Switch back over to the registry editor, and the key should have stayed at zero. This means that SOLIDWORKS was not able to write to this key and the inspection add-in will not be loaded at startup and tie up the network license on accident. If at any time the permission needs to be reset, right-click on the key, go to Permissions, select Advanced, and select Enable Inheritance again, and then select Apply. This will reload all the permissions. Now remove the permission that had the read-only access. This same procedure can be followed for any SOLIDWORKS add-in if the proper registry key is found and permissions are modified. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in future videos. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one technical resource. Bye for now, this is Jeff Linderman.